Hi, welcome to another fabulous Ableton Live tutorial. This is number seven, controlling parameters with MIDI. So we were just doing a tutorial before, not that this tutorial is not worthwhile, here we are. And we were just uh, learning to get the notes into MIDI so we could play the notes and put them in a track. Um, I'm going to go over that very briefly but we're also going to do something else, which is use the control messages to control parameters in Ableton. Okay, so let's get to that in a minute. We're going to turn our preferences on here, go to the link and MIDI section, find the controller that you're using. In this case, we're using an Oxygen 49, and make sure that the remote is turned on and the track is turned on. Track, that's track, is for notes. Remote is going to be for all the control messages and other types of message. Okay, so that's all you need there. And then we can go ahead and lose that for a little bit. Um, we're going to go up here and turn our metronome on and give us a two bar intro when we start. Um, I'm doing that just for myself because, full disclaimer, I'm not really a musician. Okay, so what we're going to do is just record a really simple track here and then uh, continue from there. So go ahead, uh, you've got your track armed, make sure it's armed, and come on up here and click go. You'll get two bars and then start playing your repetitious boring rhythm just like I will do. All right, now I'm going to stop. Okay, for anybody who was paying attention, that was terrible, but we can work with terrible. So let's go down here and punch our track open here and just look at how far off my uh, sense of timing is. But that's why people like me uh, use Ableton and I'm not saying everyone who uses Ableton is similarly untalented. I'm only saying that I am. So. We have our bum 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 bum, and these are the things we're going to use. So let's um, uh, let us set this up to here for the beginning, and we're going to. If you control click on this, you can make this a bar one beat one. Uh, you know what I mean. Why? Set one 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 here, and there it did it. So now we have these all set up in one two three four beats. One two three four, and you could actually take these and highlight them and whoops, and move them a little bit. Okay. Now, and once you have it. Um, highlighted in black, you can also, come on, oh, um, another thing you might do when you're working in this mode is change the quantization and what will uh, try to make it a little bit smaller. So that this way we can make it a little bit more human than just being on the quarter note. So now, whoops, I keep grabbing that. I don't want that. I want this. Um, to be not quite at the beginning, uh, because that always sounds too abrupt to me. Okay, and then this one overhanging a little bit, I can live with that. This one overhanging that much, I can't live with that. So I'm going to move this one up. I'm going to move this one up. Hey. Uh, you know, overhanging a little is okay. Bum, bum. Now, I also notice these are the velocity that I was so thrown off by the uh, by the 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 the, the, the 
the metronome that I didn't hit the first key very well. So I'm going to turn it up. And I'm going to turn this one up too. I sort of failed to hit that one. And move this up a little bit. Whoops, I didn't get it. Move that one up. Move, whoops, move that one up. Now, obviously, if you wanted to change the notes, you can see how to do it. And that is just drag it down here. But I'm kind of putting in a, a not very exciting rhythm for a reason. Now, make sure that this one does not hang over the end, just because it's going to uh, throw us off a little bit if it does. And then let's, uh, oops, oh, let me get the brackets here. And the loopiness all set there. Make sure you're toggled on loop over here. And let's see if we can play it. So that one sounds terrible. I'm going to move that one up a little bit. That, this one sounds a little late, too. I'm going to move this one up. Move this one up. Oops. Make it a little noisier. Needs to be a little sooner. I could hear that. Let's go like da da da. get there. That's it. So imperfect, but it still has a little bit of humanism as it. So now we've got our our basic um, a boring riff to play here, and um, and 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 it really is just goes around and around and around. So the what was the point of all this? Well, now we can get rid of this grand piano and play with something more fun. Um, let's see here. We have our collision instruments up here. Maybe that'll be more interesting. Um, and uh, how about a gong, a nice gong? So what we're looking for in this case is an instrument that has a lot of parameters that we can change. And a gong has lots and lots of things that we can change. So let's just go ahead and play. And I don't even know if you can hear that. I'll turn it up a little bit. OK. So the things we can change on the gong are, for example, like noise. It'll throw in sort of random bing-bang. Right? And then color. Ah, I see. And you can hear how each one of those stiffness So that gives it a much sharper sound, and this is a more mellow sound. We can also um, turn on this whole exciter here, and then maybe we could say, ooh, yeah. And then, of course, there's some other things that you might notice over here, like tune. Or in harmony. 
harmonics. Oh, that's great. So, let's just say we wanted to now assign some of our parameters from our uh, M Audio. Now I'm going to turn it back down a little tiny bit just so we can actually do it. Go all the way up here and click on the MIDI button, and you'll see everything lights up purple. So now, if we wanted to, um, let's say we want to control the volume first of all, because that's an important thing. So I'm just going to click on it, and you can see it's high lit. And now I'm going to go over here to my uh, the oxygen keyboard, and it has a controller that I'm going to slide up and down. And as soon as I do, you see a number appear here. Okay? Let's, let's learn about this right now, and then we'll go back and do the rest. So now we're going to turn MIDI back off the MIDI button. We're not turning MIDI off, but we're uh, that's the MIDI assignment button. And now if you look at this, I'm going to come over and move that control. So there's... Now we can move the, move the volume. So it's obviously the volume of the, the hit coming in. Okay, so we've assigned that to our first slider. Let's, uh, Let's turn the MIDI back on again and go back and get some of these other ones that we liked. Let's make noise. We'll click on it and we'll make that slider number two. There it goes. And I liked stiffness, um, maybe a little more than color, so I'm going to click on that. It gets little four corners on it. We'll make that slider number three. And then. Um, I think we had noticed that um, I might have to come back and check this one out. I will. And then another uh, slider, the inharmonics was just incredibly good, so I'm going to assign that as my slider number four. And uh, I'm sorry, and when I'm doing that, I'm just uh, going over here and running the, that slider from top to bottom so that it this this knob gets its information and um, let's turn the MIDI off so I can uh, check which one of these there we go let's make sure they all work now so here's our first one changing the volume here's our second increasing noise I'm gonna move the volume up a little bit the noise and then the third one was stiffness and then fourth was the inharmonic so hang on to your ears there all right so we have four things we can control and then I wanted to get this last one over here. This, I'm going to move this square up and down and just take note of what actually moves. Okay, so you see when you move this up and down, it's this one that moves. We keep that in mind. We go and we turn the MIDI on again. And we come down and we click on this one and move slider number five. And now it should have grabbed it. We'll turn it off and just make sure it's all working. Okay, so slider one, volume, two, noise, three, stiffness, four, our inharmonic, and there we go. So now we can actually sort of play with them and get... Turn the color way down, turn the volume way up, turn the stiffness 
way down. Oh, it's getting really boomy. So there's one hand of this kind of note that you can get out of it now, and this is just that crazy thing that I only recorded a few minutes ago. And now we can go to the, like the kind of the other end of the scale where this is a much shorter drop off, and maybe we want to play a different. Uh, different sound. Turn the, the stiffness to a medium. The noise is way up. Okay. So that's all pretty good. I think you get the idea that you could sort of control the shape of the instrument by assigning all your various control knobs to that. Um, one important thing to understand is how to get rid of those things, and that is if you click on MIDI, you want to, if you decided you didn't want to control, oh, let's say, uh, which one wasn't that exciting? Let's say stiffness. We could go over here to stiffness and right control or control click on it and say uh, delete mapping and then it's gone and we could assign that controller to something else. Of course we'd have to remember what that controller is. I believe that was our third controller. So if we then decided we wanted to uh, control this, oh look you can do it while it's still in MIDI format. So then we would go ahead and assign that to uh, that controller to this. So we'll click on that and move the controller to the top and bottom. And now, when we turn off the MIDI assignment switch and we move the third controller, we get a, a very sharp attack. And uh, now a longer sustain, or vice versa. So we get a lot of control over our sounds. So that is how you assign your controllers to uh, different parameters in Ableton. That's really it. Um, I will blather on in subsequent videos, but for now, patch well, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.